All right, so today I'm just going to do a simple unboxing video. Uh, this is a prototype copy of Legends of Novus, but it's going to have everything that you would get in the core game uh, unless there were additional stretch goals achieved. So let's pop it open and have a look. Uh, I apologize not adding any special digital uh, additions to this video. It's just what you see on this screen. So we're going to start off by opening the box. This is uh, The box will be a little bit thicker, but uh, just the simple idea, a rectangular box. And the sides are going to be a little bit different. You'll see that on the actual Facebook or um, yeah, Facebook sheets or on the website. Uh, but this is just a prototype copy, so I wanted to have the box a little bit different there. Next off, you will see we will have the rule book. So the rule book will be full color, uh, anywhere from 16 to 20 pages. There's still uh, some potential reference sheets that I want to add at the end that'll give combat a one-page description at the back, as that's usually the most complicated part of gameplay. Uh, but full color from side to side, and really uh, will emphasize what's going to happen to you in the game. So there's that. Next off, we have the game board. So this is going to be a quad fold game board. The one I have is 18 by 18, but it's probably going to be changing it to 16 by 16 for ease of packaging and um, a couple other factors. But if you take a look at that, uh, full color, we managed to lighten it up compared to the last board that you might have seen on prior images and um, really emphasize the icons on the board there. So you can see uh, the priest location or a travel location or an encounter location. Uh, so this quad fold board fits in nicely, unpacks nicely. Uh, next up, we will look at the standees. So again, chose standees versus minis uh, for cost and for gameplay reasons. There's no real purpose to having miniatures other than for um, uh, a visual excitement type of thing. Uh, so these showcase the art better than a mini would anyway, and they do what you need them to do on the game board map. So you'll get five of these, including stands. The stands will most likely be clear instead of colored, uh, but then the rest will look just as you see them here. So a thick um, cardboard with a nice colorful finish there. All right, next up we'll have the package of dice. So the game itself will come with one six-sided dice, or die I should say, this will be the travel die. These icons will be actually larger, this prototype had them smaller than I envisioned, so that'll be corrected. And then depending on stretch goals, it could either be stickered or etched. Uh, we'll see how we end up with that, but it'll serve the same purpose either way. So that's the travel die. Then there will be um, two D10s that'll come with the core game. Uh, again, as a stretch goal, you may move it up to five D10s. Uh, most hardcore gamers already have enough D10s that they probably don't need more. But to play the game, you need a minimum of two. So that's how many will be included instead of the five that were offered in the original campaign. Uh, and those could come um, different colors depending on how that ends up. Next up, there'll be 10 tracker cubes. It'll be two per player. Uh, blue for experience and a red for combat. Uh, so pretty cheap component there, but necessary. Uh, then we have the tokens, or the coins. So the coins of Novus, you'll earn gold in your travels. Um, just some thick, um, pretty decent sized, if you look at the palm of my hand there, uh, cardboard coins. Uh, no no um, plans to make them into metal due to cost and weight and shipping. Uh, I want to make this uh, a feasible campaign, and your help will, will get us there. So just some cardboard chits or um, tokens there. But they are very nice with the, the Novus emblem there done by Andrea Butera. And you can see the value of them quite clearly. So you should get uh, 40 of those in the game. I've only got 25 here, but you'll get 40 in the base game. Next up, we have the quest creatures. Now the quest creatures are going to be changed depending on fundraising. So um, if we just hit the base goal and don't hit the stretch goal, it'll be on a thin cardboard material, same size, so it'll be five by five. Um, if we do hit the goal, then they'll be on special cardboard um, tiles, which make them feel more concrete and durable. Uh, the artwork will be emphasized just as well, but they just look a little bit nicer on these uh, thick cardboard um, sheets as opposed to just on a piece of paper. But uh, that's a stretch goal that will be earlier on in the campaign, and I think we can hit that one anyway. 
but there you go. There'll be eight of those, all original artwork, again, by Andrea Butera. You've seen some of this art before, and there'll be some new art coming for uh, the final three creatures. So that's the eight quest creatures. Next up, we would have our cards. Uh, actually, we'll look at the, um, the smaller packs of cards first. So first off, we would have um, a couple special cards. One is the Krager Shield that you can only earn by defeating the quest creature Krager Beast. Next, there would be the Reptosaur, which is a special creature you can only fight in one place in Novus, so it's not actually in the encounter deck. There'll be um, 10 ally cards. You can earn those through different ways, whether it's a summon scroll or a druid or a superior summon. Uh, there'll be one advertisement card with a QR code to scan if in case you're interested in trying my first game, Duel of the Dragons. Um, and it'll come with a randomized piece of artwork there. And then moving on to cards, uh, there will be a total of 15 character class cards. Um, you'll have the five base ones, Fighter, Wizard, Priest, Druid, and um, Thief. And then you'll have 10 advanced class cards, and that's uh, the dual class cards that you can move up to depending on what you choose and what your core class is. So uh, these ones are, are actually homemade cards right now because I didn't make them in time for the prototype, but um, those will be included in the core game. Next up, we'll have the adventure cards. There'll be 60 of these. These adventure cards uh, have all kinds of things in them that you'll you'll need. Uh, things to enhance gameplay, skills you can gain, special quests you can go on, coins you can earn, curses that you don't want unless you're the necromancer, um, special moments, encounter cards, um, ways to banish creatures. So all kinds of stuff going on in there in the adventure deck. Um, and those come with the blue backs with the kind of a spark icon there. Next up is the reward deck, another 60 card deck, so you're going to get your value there. Uh, this deck is what you need to equip your character throughout the game. You'll find things like rings and armor, uh, crowns and belts, weapons, robes, um, shin guards, more money in this deck as well, holy symbols. So just all kinds of great goods, swords, shields, masks, um, everything you need to buff up your creature to be able to defeat those quest creatures. So 60 of those. And then we have the encounter deck. So the encounter deck is going to be a 40 card deck, a little bit smaller. You don't go through those as often, and some of them are duplicates in here. But anything from mutant rats to zombies, uh, the orc warrior, the very first piece of art that was made for Novus, a bear, an assassin, uh, elemental creatures, demons, uh, skeletons. So you name it, it's in here. Uh, all the, the dangers of the world are in this 40 card deck that you will randomly encounter. Uh, in your travels. Then we have the Legends of Novus location guide. So as you travel that map that I showed you earlier, you're going to need this guide to help tell you what happens on some of those specific spots. Now I did mention that there's some special icons on the map and that helps you uh, quickly identify what kind of location it is, but the actual details for each location are going to be referenced in this beautifully illustrated location guide. And a lot of the art, as you can see by this piece here, um, is done by a gentleman named Boris Tirano, and he's an Italian artist as well. He did this art here for Drakkar. He did this um, piece of art for the city of Braille. And so some of the placement art that I have in this guide will be, well, all of the placement art will be uh, redone either by Boris or by Andrea. So that's location guide. Uh, very valuable to make your way in the world. And then the most uh, novel concept in the game is these actual character boards. So you're going to come with five character boards uh, in these different colors here. And uh, originally I had them a bit thicker. You can see the old ones and the new ones. We're just going to look at the new ones now. Um, but there will be all five of these boards regardless. Uh, when you look at these boards, I showed this video earlier, but uh, the board itself is a foldable 11 by 17 inch wide board. And that board is going to be used to house everything about your character. It will have an indent for the character image card, the character class card, and indents for holding your trackers. And then there's going to be nine spots for all of your equipment and three spots for skills and or curses. Um, so this sits in front of each player. They'll each have their own board and just really represents who they are. 
and kind of the novel concept behind it is that everything that you need for your character sheet is right in front of you in card format. You don't need a pen and pencil, you don't need to document things. The only value that values that change are your combat and your experience. Um, so those nestle nicely into those little grooves. Um, so that is the character sheet. Now that being said, I've got a couple more cards I didn't mention, and that is the character image cards. So starting off with five of them, but the potential for more in stretch goals. Um, so we've got the, the thief and the fighter, the wizard, the priest, and the druid. So those are all the um, initial characters for the game. And again, this is all concept art, beautiful art by Andrea Butera, specific for Legends of Novus. So you're not going to see this art anywhere else uh, before the campaign. So that's that. So those would sit there. Uh, as I mentioned, the classes would sit there. And then the last piece that will come with this game will be the reminder cards. So sometimes games are... Um, nice to have a little reminder card especially if you're not wanting to share or refer to the rule book all the time so this gives a quick chart for experience and gold and on the back side it will tell you your full turn sequence what you can and cannot do on your turn um, so there you have it that is legends of novus and um, all of this is going to come at a Kickstarter retail of $47 US is the plan. So a couple dollars lower than before, um, mainly due to the thinner board here and uh, potential change to the quest creature tiles turning into cards unless a stretch goal is hit. So really excited to see this come forth uh, later in June, uh, sending out a couple of these prototypes to Dice Tower, to Tantrum, and one will be on display at the Origins Game Fair. So if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, feel free to put them in there below or share this video with people that you think might be interested. I'll put a link to Fundamental Games um, uh, email subscription in case they want a reminder for the Kickstarter launch. Thanks again for watching.